So these are comb honey cassettes, and these are fully assembled cassettes that are in a Langstroth frame ready for the bees. To assemble these cassettes, it's actually pretty easy. You don't have to glue or nail or staple the joints together. They just dry fit together using the box joints on each cassette. And you can assemble this uh, a couple different ways. One is like this, where you put together three out of the four sides and you leave the fourth side open. And you can see how the two sides are different than the top and bottom. Those two sides have those little slots so that you can actually slide a piece of foundation into it and give the bees a great starting point and finishing point for making their comb honey. Once you have all your cassettes together, you want to start cutting your strips of wax. And we have found that a deep sheet of wax, just standard wax foundation with or without hooks, works really great. Uh, the strips are long enough uh, so that they will actually cross two cassettes. And we're going to cut them into thin enough strips that they will slide easily into, um, into the grooves. So you can see here we have two sets, the two cassettes together, and this little strip slides in there. And then once you've got the strip, you can actually pop that last fourth piece of the cassette onto it. So you can do it this way, or you can actually put together all four sides and then slide the strip together. It's important to have a strip on the top and also on the bottom of the cassette, and that gives a place for the bees to start building their comb on the top and, the, and a place for them to connect the comb on the bottom. When you do this, you get much higher quality comb honey in the cassette. Now working in pairs, you can actually drop these cassettes into the frame. You would use eight cassettes for a deep frame or you would use four larger cassettes for a medium frame. Because these aren't glued together or stapled, we actually use bits of scrap wax to hold the cassettes together Depending on the, the brand of the frame that, you're, that these are going into, you may have to add more or less, um, but once you tack all of these together and wedge these little bits of wax in there, the cassettes will be in there very strong and be ready for the bees. You want them to be in there semi-loose so that you can actually pop these cassettes out when you're done and you can sell them or give them away.